Hey there tribe, it's me Kelly the Tech Action Wom. I want to talk to you today about something that a couple people have asked me about recently and that is how to install affiliate banners into your sidebar. This is actually a really really super simple thing to do. The problem happens, um, well let me show you this. Many affiliate programs will give you code that you can use to do this. You don't have to know anything about coding, you just have to be able to copy and paste. And it's really simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do that. The problem happens with sometimes with these codes they have what is called an iframe. It's an iframe code and you don't need to understand what that means but what you do need to understand is that sometimes WordPress doesn't like to play nicely with iframes. So sometimes people do this and their code doesn't work. So I'm going to show you two ways of putting these banners into your um, <clears throat> into your sidebar. The first way is going to be the simple way with using the code. The second way is going to be the manual way which is still very simple. It just has a couple extra steps to it. So let's get on with it shall we? First of all we're going to look here you're going to see I have all these um, banners here in my sidebar. And what I want to do is because I'm now using Mad Mimi as my email um, autoresponder program I've become an affiliate for them because I recommend them, I think they're a great program. Um, so I want to have a link to them on my blog because I want people to use them. I think they're great and I think any new blogger, they're super easy to understand and get started with and I would hope that you would, you would give them a try if you haven't started building a list yet. And if you haven't started building a list yet, please do so at the earliest possible moment. Um, it's so important for your blog that you start building your list as soon as possible. So what I want to do is I want to put this um, little banner, I want to put it right here underneath my opt-in. This opt-in is from a program called Hybrid Connect that I use, which is no longer available, but I still like it, so I still use it. Um, but you can see right here, this is in my primary sidebar, and here's the widget for Hybrid Connect. So I'm going to want to put this Mad Mimi banner I want to put right under that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to grab a text widget by clicking and holding and then just drag it right up here boom 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 and I'm going to drop it. You see how as you move it it opens up an empty space? I'm going to drop it right under Hybrid Connect there and when you do that it automatically opens up and is ready for you to put in whatever information you want here. Next I'm going to go back to my Mad Mimi site and I'm going to use this banner because it's the right width for my site. Actually, I could probably use that one too, but I'm going to stick with the smaller one. Um, and I'm going to copy by right click, copy, take it over here, drop it into this box, paste, and save. And it truly is that easy. So now let's run over here and reload my blog. and there it is right there. Now you may notice it's kind of slammed over to the left here. Just like images that you put on your blog posts, the things that go into your sidebar here can be aligned to the left, the right, or in the center. And I want this aligned to the center with the rest of my my banners there. So I'm going to run back over here and I'm going to put in code that tells it to do that and this is super simple. You see these little um, carrot signs, little arrow signs that start and end everything. We're just going to use those. We're going to put a arrow sign center Oops. and close that. That's called a tag and that's a center tag. We're telling it that we want everything after this arrow to be centered in that um, location. And then I'm going to close that tag by typing the same thing but with a slash first. Do you see that? So up here we've got less than, center, greater than. And down here we've got left, uh, less than, slash, center, greater than. Um, or left arrow, slash, center, right arrow. However you want to say it. Um, and this tells it to start centering everything after this. And this tells it we're done centering. So we're going to save that. 
pop back over here, reload again. And you'll see that worked perfectly just like a charm. There it is. If you like, you can type a title in here. Um, start list building today. Yay! Start it now. Save again. Reload again. And there it is. See, it's very simple. It could, I, it really, I, I don't know how it could be any simpler than that. It's just copying this code and pasting it into the right place. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's imagine what happens if you've done all that and you come back over to your blog and you reload your page and it looks like this got your title there but nothing else then what do you do if that has happened to you it's probably because there's some kind of issue between your code and your WordPress theme or the code might be bad there's all kinds of things that's why I'm going to show you now how to do this manually and doing it manually is no more difficult than than the other way it's just a couple extra steps the first thing you need to do is I'm going to explain this code to you a, an A code, this one you have a, your, your little symbol, your little left, pointing to the left symbol here, your little arrow, little uh, less than sign, whatever you want to call it. With an A, that means that's, that's code for telling the program that, hey, there's a link coming up. And when you've got it on the other side here with the, with the slash in there, that's saying, okay, that's the end of our link. Everything in between those two A's is information about the link. So the first thing you need to do is your href reference, which is um, t gonna go in between two quotation marks, and that's gonna be the actual link, the actual address, the URL, where you want this link to go. So in our case, for this, I want it to go to my Mad Mimi site, right? My, ma my um, affiliate link, which there's a copy of it right here, and I can just copy it from right there. Now, not all affiliate programs have a very easy to find affiliate link like that. They may have a big line of code like this and you're like, well, when I put that line of code in there, it doesn't work. What you need to do in that case is you need to go through your code and look where the first quotation mark is. And you see after that right here, that there is up to the next quotation mark. There is a link there, that is a URL and that's going to be your affiliate link. It's in every affiliate program I've ever used. That's how it's put in there. There may be some stuff ahead of this, like iframe or whatever. All you need to do is look for that ahref equals, and then you'll find your code right after the quotation mark, up to the second quotation mark. And that's going to be your link, your, your, your URL for your affiliate, um, with your affiliate information in it. So we're going to go back to this, and in between those two quotation marks, we're going to paste in that code. Now the second part of this, let me erase that just to make this easier to read for a second. The second part of this, you can see there's another, it stops, there's a, the little, it closes right there. And there's more information after this. This means this IMG SRC, that means image source. And because we want this to be a picture that people can click on and link out, we need to tell it what picture to use, and that's what image source does. So what I've done is I saved, I right clicked and saved this, save image as, to my computer, and then I uploaded it to my blog as a media file. So that I have my own place where I've got this image stored on the internet, and I can get this address right there. And you see it ends with a ping. It might end, depending on how you save it, it may end with a JPEG or whatever kind of file you save it as, GIF or whatever you've got. Um, GIF, excuse me. I saved it as a ping. So you're going to copy that. And we'll go back down here. And that would go in between these quotation marks to let it know that's the location where it can find the image you want it to use. So let's put the, the Mad Mimi code back in there. Come up 
here and put this in here. And that's the entire code. So we've got A to let it know that we've got we're starting a link, href telling it where it's supposed to go. Target blank, that means it's going to open in a new tab rather than opening in the same tab. And then um, image source is this little place right here. This is where you want it to find the image. And then you close everything up with your slash A. And that's the end of the link. So let's copy that. And I will have this code down in the bottom of the article of my web post or my blog post so that you can copy it if you need to to use for your own stuff. So let's copy that. Come back over here to my widget and we'll paste that code right in there. And let's not forget that we do want this to be centered again. So I'm going to put my center tags on there also. For heaven's sakes, it's like I don't know how to type. Save. You always have to save. If you don't save, it's not going to show up on your blog. And we'll come over here, reload. <clears throat> and there it is, centered and just like it was before, only we've done it manually. So that is how you install an affiliate banner on your sidebar. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please leave them either in the comments on this um, on this video or comments on my blog post if you're watching if you're looking at this on the actual blog and I hope that helps you out and answered your questions until next time I'm Kelly the Take Action Wom and I will talk to you later